what's going on guys welcome back today we are here with the season finale of black sales season one episode eight and we are going to jump in that's for sure oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah we are jumping in final episode of the season man i am pumped to watch this last episode i think we are off to go get the orc i don't know how that's gonna go down they're planning to kill flint after they get the money um because of you know billy we don't even not even sure if this dude is dead but i guess we can assume he's dead because he fell overboard um i don't think billy is dead and that's the thing i think he's probably going to show up i, I don't know but i i just don't feel like billy is dead you know what i'm saying um but at the same time you know it could be that you know that's how they wanted to get rid of him you know, um, you know, some people are going to look at it and be like, this is very convenient for him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For Flint, convenient for Flint, but we'll see how that goes. But in any case, we are going to jump into this episode because I really want to see how they wrap up the season. And of course, I'm going to in make sure to check out my review after because I will be rating the season what I enjoyed, what I did not enjoy, whatever the situation is, and give it a rating. Um, I usually rate every season of every show that I do individually, and then I, if, if it's a series that's not ongoing and it's finished, then I'll give an overall rating for the entire show once I'm done with it, okay? So, let's jump in, hit that like button, let's go watch this reaction, and I will see you guys for the review. What a series, man. What a series. Absolutely brilliant season. Eight episodes of greatness. That last episode was intense. I didn't know what was going to happen. It really kept me at the edge of my seat there because I thought Flint would have been dead. I thought maybe only the cook would have survived and then we're watching, you know what I'm saying? Like they were going to be like, oh, this whole time he was the main you know the, the main character in this story you know um that would have been great don't get me wrong but i'm glad flint is alive uh, mind you dufresne had all right to call him in between him killing um i can never remember his name you know what i'm saying like him killing him was not what i expected um I, I when the scene was playing out i it's like i saw it coming but i still didn't expect him to do it in my mind you know what i'm saying like the way out to see if you watch enough tv and watch how dialogue presents itself you can kind of tell when certain things are going to happen because you've seen it so many damn times you know what i'm saying so it's like in it's like i saw how the scene was playing out i was like he's gonna jump him but at the same time i'm like nah man flint flint wouldn't hurt him you know what i'm saying um but the letter he wrote man this man dufresne decided that now is the time when tensions are so high everybody's expecting to go at this spanish ship it's like what flint said made sense it's like a spanish ship just out here just happened to be passing by like something is going on you know what i'm saying like there's got to be something going on it's just like a spanish ship is just out here passing by a, a, a freaking i don't remember what he called it i think it's like a, a warship or i don't remember what they call it but them ships are no joke my guy those ships are no joke hundred guns on those ships those ships are no joke so those are like them warships not just a regular you know merchant ship so they come with them guns even though they caught them off guard they still as soon as they turn my guy ooh, the damage was crazy so we got vane coming back right 
we got Vane coming back to the island, took over the fort. Um, he said he'll be fine up there, but I don't think he's gonna. I think, I think he has other plans. I think he has other plans. I just don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna see what it is, of course, what his plans are. But hey, I thought that it was gonna be over. I thought the I thought the season was gonna be over and that we're gonna be dealing with all this domestic stuff that is going on between everybody and we're not gonna have any hope of getting the, the orca it, it, it just was just the wrong information whatever the situation is and i think flint and the cook is going to become best buddies i think that's what's going to happen in the show i think the cook and flint is going to become best buddies and they're just gonna just mesh in such a way and i think their relationship is going to be one of those great relationships that builds over time um of them watching each other's back and making sure each other don't get in trouble he, he his timing is awesome when it comes to flint too so i'm definitely looking forward to see what they're going to do for next season and all this goal and getting all this goal and if they're going to get the goal at all because they're going to have to fight to get it because they're gonna have to wait to get it out to another ship or whatever because that ship is wrecked you know what i'm saying the ship had a, it, it, you know the urca crashed or whatever um so they had to take off the gold off of it um i'm surprised they didn't lose they probably lost some of it though because if it crashed i don't know i don't know don't want to assume anything but um in that episode we got to see um, a lot go down Jack's confrontation with Vane um, that was a little you know what I'm saying I'm surprised he, he 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 still didn't sell out Anne which is very interesting to say the least that shows you how much he cares for her because he didn't say hey Anne's the only one that did it he she set it up you know what I'm saying and I'm glad that Max can smile again forget about Eleanor I'm glad that Max can smile again. She went through a lot and she says she's learned her lesson. So now we know that Max is going to become a savage. She's making her money. She's doing her thing, working with Jack. So that's that's good. She and exactly what I was thinking of her becoming a madam, uh, a, a madam for the for, for the, the, the whorehouse. So she can do that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think she would have to sell herself or anything like that in that position um she's she's had enough man and i don't think she should be selling herself anymore i think jack should let her um and and you know they don't have a ship anyway i don't know what jack is talking about. Um, not jack i don't know what vade is talking about you don't have a ship anymore my guys so you ain't sailing either <laughs> you know what i'm saying but at the same time we'll see how things progress into the next season but let's get down to the nitty-gritty of my rating for this season i'm gonna give this season for a starting season the first season of a show i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten and the reason why i'm giving it a nine out of the nine out of ten is because it's a season that i would definitely watch over again the rewatchability is very high with season one of Black Sails. I'm going to say that. I would watch other people react to this show. That's how good it is. You know what I'm saying? To see if they would pick up on the on certain nuances of the show and, and certain things that they do that they do very well. Everything was shot pretty well. It's, very, it's a very believable world that they built. You know what I'm saying? Of, I would gander to say that they they did extensive research into what it was like living back then the the, the um the wardrobe the the authentic showing how the ships used to look i mean any depiction in history that you've ever seen of you know old old ships back in the day and stuff like that that's exactly how they look any picture that you've seen whether it, whether it was painted whether it was um an actual picture of how ships used to look when they were made out of just wood exterior and stuff like that that's exactly how they look they stayed authentic i believe i would not want to live in that world but um 
that's how we i believe it used to be and they stayed authentic to that and i appreciate that i was very immersed into this pirate time you know what i'm saying so i was very immersed into that um i'm uh, you know um the sound design in this show is absolutely off the chain i love it i love it i love it the sound design in this show the, the, the cinematography is off the chain even though you know that certain parts are cg graphics it's not that visible as in to the person who doesn't know what cg looks like they're not going to notice it so it's very well done the special effects special effects in tv shows is never normally very good it's very it's usually very low budget cg so um for them to be able to pull that off i know that you know cha um, channels like hbo stars showtime they pour a lot more into these shows nowadays but this was years back so i don't know when black sales came out or when it aired but i know that in recent times since game of thrones stepped up you know what i'm saying their special effects and stuff for a tv show everybody else have been stepping it up giving these channels once they catch fire they start up in the budget and stuff like that and to make things very very good i mean i've yet to see another show do it as good as game of thrones when it when it comes to special effects and stuff like that but still it's still passable visual effects that can fool you into thinking that what actually happened in there is real you know what i'm saying do you really think that they have ships out there firing at each other in the open sea and you know what i'm saying like it's not like that that's the whole entire thing is is um is computer graphics and it looks real you get what i'm saying so it's super awesome so shout out to the special effects team of course they did an awesome job for this first season of black sales can't say that enough but in any case guys as i said i give this season a nine hopefully um i thought about the stuff that i love and let me talk about the stuff that i didn't like um there's certain things about the story in this that could that could have been done a little bit better as in there's certain storylines that you're just like okay i understand mrs barlow perspective but why the priest you get what i'm saying like stuff like that just didn't it, it just doesn't make sense yet i don't want to say that it's never going to make sense in the future about this priest but then there was another scene i think it was in episode seven where the priest was just standing out there i think he was praying and a horse just flew by him i guess that was i guess it was flint that flew by him and i was like okay that scene was absolutely unnecessary i didn't understand why that scene was there you know what i'm saying it was like a waste of space like we didn't need to see that it's just and you find this a lot when it comes on to to any story that is being told in on tv sometimes they do have these scenes that you're like why did we need to see that you know what i'm saying um everything else was was done very was done very well um but the reason the main reason why i'm not giving it a full 10 out of 10 for the first season for me is because i want to leave room for improvement that's really the, the reason you know what i'm saying that's really the reason because i want to leave room for them to show me that they can do better season two is always comeback season it's always comeback season you gotta do better you get what i'm saying you gotta do better and you gotta hit it out the park so i'm leaving room for improvement you guys said it's going to get better and i'm looking forward to it anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in for black sales season one i appreciate y'all hopefully when y'all see this episode y'all enjoy it as much as i did i'm looking forward to season two i start to react to that next week so i appreciate you guys man thank you once more for joining me on this journey eight episodes down a bunch more to go leave a like Leave a comment. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. Peace.